All right, I think we're pretty much ready to go here. I've got several loads on standby. Uh, starting with these space heaters on the right, they pull 1500 watts each. So when they're both turned on, they'll be pulling 3000 watts. And we also have some smaller loads here on the left. Uh, four lights in total. The top two pull 100 watts each. The bottom two, 200 watts each. So when everything's turned on, we'll be pulling 3600 watts. And that technically is an overload for this machine. This is only rated at 3,500 watts. So I think we're gonna get pretty close, but as we approach the max load, you know, that inverter module likely will shut down to protect itself. So the plan is to get the engine started, we will let it warm up. As it's doing that, we will double check the outputs. We'll actually check them a few times along the way. Uh, we use the kilowatt to see the voltage in the Hertz the oscilloscope to see what the output looks like, and the amp probe on the right here will measure the total harmonic distortion. That is a measure of how clean the power is. Uh, utilities are allowed to provide THD up to 5%, and most traditional generators actually produce a lot of harmonic distortion, you know, around 20 to 25%. Uh, but a machine like this, it should have some pretty low numbers. So that is something we will find out in a minute. So let's get the engine started and see how it does. In the various loads, I'm going to use this sound level meter so that we can see what the sound level is in decibels. So right now the engine is off and without the engine running, we're coming in at about 50 decibels. Right, no issues getting the machine started. The auto idle is turned on and it's idling nice and low. It's super quiet. Now, as far as the output, the sine wave looks really good, uh, but there is a lot of glare. So I'm gonna take a screenshot and just put that on your screen. And the THD without a load is extremely low at 0.1% THD. At no load and the eco switch turned on, it's pretty quiet. You know, it's coming in at about 62 decibels. So at 1500 watts, you know, the sine wave looks largely unchanged and the THD came up a bit, but still quite low at 1.2% THD. And at 1500 watts, the sound level came up a bit. We're now close to 71 decibels. now pulling 3,000 watts, which is a pretty significant load. You can tell the engine it is working quite a bit harder, uh, but it is doing it without issue. Uh, let's take a look at the sine wave. Looks about the same. And the THD, really no change at 1.2% THD. At 3,000 watts, the sound level did come up. Uh, that said though, it is still quieter than my voice. We're at about 75 decibels. So 
So at 3,000 watts, that overload light, it is solidly off. Uh, but we are getting very close to an overload, so let's see how much this can take. I'm going to turn the top two lights on. They're 100 watts each. So now we're pulling 3,200 watts. No issues. So let's turn these off and turn one of the bottom ones on instead. So now we're back to 3,200 watts. And let's keep going. 3,300 watts. 3,400 watts. It's doing it. Let's see what the overload light looks like. Oh yeah, and the overload light, it is flickering, so it's not gonna do this for very long. It's kinda hard to see on the video, but the overload light, it is definitely warning that a shutdown is imminent. So let's turn these top two off. Turn the bottom one on, so we'll be back to 3,400 watts. And that was it. So the inverter module just tripped. You can tell the engine, it's now back down to an idle. And the heaters, they are coming to a stop. So I'm gonna give this a second. I'm gonna let the engine cool a bit. And then I will restart the machine to get the power back on. So we'll take the loads off. That way, when we restart, we're not stressing out the machine. You know, likely it would stall it if you started it with a load on. Yeah, no issues getting the machine restarted. The inverter module came right back online and we are pulling 3000 watts again. So I think we have the information we need. So I'm gonna take the load off, let the engine cool down for a couple minutes and then we'll shut it down.